You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Johnson. Oh, From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for the A-List Dallas. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest A-List Dallas news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for the A-List Dallas. Oh, give me a home where the Are you kidding me? I was waiting for the other song that was going to dance. <laughs> that is amazing. That's a maze. It's a maze. It's a maze. I'm Oz. I actually kind of like this. I'm digging it. This is this is what the theme song should be. I know. <laughs> this is like valuable airtime going to waste right now. It's okay. We don't have a special topic. So okay. Just listen to this. <laughs> this is the special this topic. This is the special topic. My theme song. Home of the Rain is your theme song. We just lost all ten of our viewers. I know, right? They're like, really? Hello, hello, and welcome to the A List Dallas season uh, one, episode four. How do you measure up? Uh, I am Jackie Borowski, and to my left, I have David Skifalitti, and across from me, Natalie Bratney, and Kenny Harrison, and in the booth, DJ Jesse (laughs) Jenny. And of Cameron's course. sick today, although we miss him and hope he feels better. Die, Cameron, die. No, I'm, oh, joking. I'm, kidding. Oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh. Hi, I miss you, Cam. You need to join the cast. <laughs> um, let's begin with, I mean, the title basically says it all. How do you measure up? So let's begin with Inchware. That's, um, th- it's so weird to me because it seems like this show, uh, outside of the personal fights, it really lacks, like, People Substance. having jobs or <laughs> yeah, like people having actual jobs or having other things to do. So uh, I guess inchware is like the big thing that's been threading through every episode, aside from like personal romance. Well, do you think they're not allowed to like follow them at work because that would be boring to watch? Well, who? No, because usually, um, usually when you do a contract for a reality participant, you have to say that most of them have to agree to be filmed Mm. wherever they go in your car at work so i I mean it's either that or they don't work right i I think that just most of them don't have a lot going on right well i I would assume i mean because we saw in new york that they were in the salon they were in uh, ryan's salon a lot so Mm -hmm. which i've been to oh really well i walked by it and Uh, i took a picture you (laughs) You didn't go in to get a haircut ryan wasn't there Uh, did you see tj Neither of them were there. We Aww. went on a Sunday. I was so disappointed. Oh, well, because they don't actually work there. Yeah, <laughs> it's a studio. It's a fake. It's a, it's fake, a fake salon. salon. Believe it. Um, so Inchware is uh, the only big thread going on. Nobody else seems to be promoting or doing anything. So um, Levi hosted auditions for his Inchware party, which mostly involved guys coming in in the underwear and then him saying take your shirt off. Right. <laughs> well, it's a model oh, casting, so... so. It yeah. was kind of creepy. I think it's part of the course. Very creepy. He is just creepy. Yeah. You know, it's... If you've ever been to a model casting, they... Uh, most of them are like that, especially if they are... Taking For off. underwear, or you're uh-huh. gonna be on shirtless, or... How right. many yeah. of you guys were afraid that he was going to actually get up and go over and touch them like he I, touched I actually, them? Yes. Yes. You know what? Surprised he didn't. Yes. It reminded me of the whole Austin Playboy Playgirl thing. I mean, that's how creepy he looked. Yeah. He, he reminded me of Mr. Creeper yes. from that episode. Yeah. Remember so. last, last week when he was touching Philip in the underwear? Oh, yeah. That yeah. was just flirtation. Yeah, but I felt like he was going to do that. Yeah. yeah, but he that's like that's totally... 
That would totally be expected of I him. have a question, though, and, and probably none of you can answer, but how do you measure someone's junk? And, and Are you wondering where you're starting from? Right, exactly. I mean, if <laughs> well. we're not talking like... I, think I don't think they're actually measured. Pe- well, I mean, a couple of them walked oh, in with tens. Oh, yeah. I mean, really? Seriously? Like, were we measuring tip to tail? Is yeah, it, is and it, is it fully erect? I mean, well, well, I'm just saying, saying for the underwear. I'm just saying. I mean, <laughs> I think he only had tens available. No, there was something that was Now, see, okay. is it, is it a, a small tan, medium tan, large tan? I, I mean, think it's like, a how 10 you... plus or 10 or 8 plus or just 8. I don't, I just, I don't buy it. <laughs> well, the other thing is too is the it best depends part. On who you're asking. The best part is these. They come in for the audition, and you think you kind of would kind of be prepped on what's going on. People are like, "What do the numbers mean?" So right. what do the numbers mean? Everybody was asking that, and I'm like, "So you just sent out like a an audition notice or whatever, and didn't say anything about your company?" Well, I'm sure like a lot of people. I know a lot of actors who do go out on auditions. They research what they're auditioning for. So maybe I because I've never heard of Inchware either. I don't know. Maybe it's uh, when he was describing where where his reta- his what do you call it? distribution? Yeah. Mm-hmm. L.A. wasn't one of one of those cities, so maybe no. I mean I you know I only heard Chicago and Dallas. San Francisco was one. Okay, and then I think Miami, and Florida. Yeah, but still, Typical it's just like Miami. I don't think <laughs> I, I I I would assume like they would research like whoever if you're auditioning for something or yeah, but I don't if for models I don't think it really matters. It's sort of just like no, you show up and it does like if you know the company. You but know if it. someone if you says, don't, you "Oh, I have I have an audition for you for Gucci," you you would assume you would know what Gucci is, right? Right. So I mean, or you would at least research it a little bit, and you know. But usually, know. you would think with if you're sending out some sort of like audition information, they'd say, "Oh, this is the company. This is what right, it's for. Exactly. You know, this is what it's the com- like a little bio on the company." Right. Exactly. And I. I this is, I mean, obviously, this is so amateur. It's mm-hmm. like, it's ridiculous. also Dallas, though, so. That's true. <laughs> Very true. It's not really like a industry a city. Full legit. Yeah. So, in the next scene, <laughs> um, in the next scene after the audition scene, we have Philip and uh, Jane, wait, James. 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 Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I Getting a so conditioning wrong. treatment. Yes. That's what they were doing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they, neither of them had that much hair. Yeah. Well, it was I'm going no to the comment. dryer, <laughs> it's for moisture. And I they also feel hair. like this. <laughs> I also feel like this whole. Um, well, James is like bald. He's yeah. got like a shaved head. So they both bald. do. Yeah. Yeah. That's like me going to get you know hair my hair <laughs> you know blue dry or whatever you call it. Exactly. I've never seen a blow dryer before. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I also feel I I feel like this whole. Let me toss my thing. <laughs> now you have to do the TJ. Oh. <laughs> You don't hit a woman. I'm sorry. You do not hit a woman. <laughs> I feel like the setups for these are also weird. It seems like everything is like a two person scene. Well, and as yeah. we're going, you know, I, I felt like for the A list New York, that. yeah, I felt like for the A list New York, there was more uh, group scenes or more like mixed scenes. It feels like everything is literally staged two person, two person, two person. So it's like these two people sit and talk about this subject in this location. Well, uh, and then it's in every scene, by the way. And if yeah. you listen closely, every scene started off, oh, well, I decided to invite Jackie to lunch. Oh, or I just decided to have. Uh, uh, goes to the gym with David. They, they, they each scene starts that way, right. so it's like very contrived, and, and we all know like the producers are getting these people together just to do. Because right. I don't really think that just Phillip to make a mess. And, yeah, I don't think Philip yeah. and James would ever hang out right. on any other, no. you know, any given Sunday. Which is weird I mean? because get a hair when we yeah, treatment. Exactly. yeah, when we started when we started talking about this show, we were saying it seems like all these people already know each other. Exactly. Which is the other weird thing, too. It's like, the, it's, it felt more organic when you watched the A-list New York, the places they showed up, except for that stupid park bench. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I thought it was they a nice scene. The park bench. Yes. But, but it, it seemed more organic, the places they went or where they mm-hmm. showed up and things. Right. And here, it's like, so you have this group of people that supposedly actually already know each other, and they're right. doing these, like, two-by-two-by-two two two right. scenes. right. It just so strange to me. Well, also in the previous episodes, it has been the same. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, they had mm-hmm. the two person, two person, two yep. person, and then a party. Right. Mm-hmm. That then, has, yeah, they've had a party pretty much every episode. Yeah. 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 And I don't, I don't know. I kind of think Philip and James. I think that that is organic. Yeah. Because yeah. Th- you know they were the first two that were together when we first met them. They were together, hmm. and you All notice right. that they were gossiping about Levi. Yeah. So then once again, here they are gossiping, gossiping about, about Levi. Levi. 
So they are kind of the two gossip queens of the uh, well, episode. Well, Philip has definitely like, got that by himself. But yeah, I feel like a lot of these people the like would hang out with each other. Not just not just them, but I feel a lot of the characters would hang out. Or I, act, people, sorry. Have we seen any of their, aside from Chase and maybe Taylor, we haven't seen anyone else's home, right? Mm, like we haven't, so. we haven't seen Ashley's husband. No, they're, no, they're we saw him like for two seconds in like the first episode. No. The first episode, where she like give him a kiss or something. Yeah. I also assume every ranch that they show is Levi's ranch. Yeah, <laughs> or something. So I'm guessing thing. we've yeah. seen his ranch mm-hmm. and his barn. Where, if anyone noticed the barn scene between James and Levi, I'm wondering if that was the barn where Taylor and Levi did it. No, they did it in um. I thought they did it behind the bar, uh, barn. Wait, they did it at a, at a at a rodeo, rodeo? like yeah. the oh. a, an empty rodeo space in one of the barns. What did I, wait, what did I miss? No, one of the bullpens. Yeah, bullpens. Okay, who did what? Where? What now? When, uh, in like the first or second episode, Levi and um, Taylor. Taylor were talking about having oh, sex in one of the bullpens. It. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Shoot, I really Kenny was like, I missed the sex scene. I know. Did I miss something? <laughs> Okay. And it wasn't really that important, but okay. So uh Philip and um Philip's we we have to address Philip's language. The way he talks <laughs> we have to, please. He's creating new vocabulary for me. <laughs> he cuts everything off and the way he talks is completely ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And I I didn't even notice it until you guys pointed it out. <sighs> But I, I can't it. tell if it's for the show or not. <laughs> like the I think, I, 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 think it's, I think it's him, one hundred percent. Really? Like I think if I saw him walk down the street, that is exactly what I would get. Oh yeah. I, I, He'd like abbreviate everything, everything. and mm-hmm. the facial and the mouth. I think is everything. Oh, the I mouth is my favorite. I'm excited to see his uh, conversations with his father next episode. That to see if he cuts everything off. Yes. Well, and also yeah. we saw. See how he behaves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Last week uh, with his little blonde friend. I think, like I said last week, I think he hangs out with those types of girls, yeah. and that's where he gets that. And that's where he speaks. Yeah. yeah. Um, so mm. Philip is all excited to be the new face of Inchware. Yeah. And oh, he's involved. Yeah, and he thinks he's involved. So they have they have uh, Philip and Chase have that scene in the um, also contrived in yes. the store. Yeah, their two by two scene, yeah. um, where <laughs> Philip's like, "Oh, I'm all excited," and then Chase basically has to tell him that his he won't be the face of the intro. The thing that concerned me the most about that scene was not that conversation. It was the fact that he was trying on underwear in the store. Oh, yeah, without underwear on. He was just, he, <laughs> he, was, he was just like, he, he okay. says earlier, like, I'm free balling it right now and I never wear underwear. So we know that he does not have underwear on. He's trying on that on the store. Yeah. Which is disgusting. Yes. Well, they have those By little the sanitary strips. <laughs> no, no women. What if they not, have no, not for guys. Not for oh, guys. Yeah. It's not oh, the man. same. No. Baldus. I've never tried on underwear swimsuits, <laughs> maybe, but not underwear. Yeah. Mm. But I, I like... Judge me now, David. Go ahead. No, I'm not judging <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I've ever tried on... I've underwear. never tried on underwear. I don't think no. I ever have. You just buy it. But you know yeah. your size, right? And it fits. Like. Yeah, and if it's <laughs> inch wear, you know your inches. I think. Apparently, I hope. Unless you're lying it's to not yourself. It's like women's underwear where you have to like see what it looks like on. It all kind of looks yeah. the same. See but it's... still, even like women, you can't. You can only try on bras. You can't try on the actual yeah. underwear. Hmm. And if they do, they make you even put if it on Victoria's over your underwear. Secret? Yeah, yeah, put it on over your underwear. But I still don't trust. I don't that. understand that. It's though. too creepy. Why would you put it on? I mean, I don't. I worked at Victoria's Secret, and we would be like. Anybody who brought underwear in, just the store I worked in, you just couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. Know your size. And wash and your underwear before you buy it. Yes. Just, or after you after buy it. You oh, buy it. Sorry, <laughs> before you buy it, you're like before in the store. Wash there should, there should be a, a big washer and dryer right there in the store. Just yes. throw it in there. Yes. Um, so I, 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 I just love Chase. I love his like one-liners. I him. He's so funny. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence with like him. He is. You know what? I think he told um, Philip purposely... Because he knew Philip would go to uh, Ashley and tell her, so he wouldn't have to break it to his friend. Yes. That's a good point. Yes, That's that a is good a good point. point. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Um, I didn't like him at all. <laughs> I, I think he's so funny. I think that's why I like him. I just like how he narrates everything. He just tells it like it is, but to <laughs> yes. like the confessional area, not to everyone's. Well, no, he does say to everyone's face. No, he too, says it. I feel he's yeah. real, and I feel he's funny. Yeah. Correct. He just. I think he's funny. Yeah. I like his clever one-liners. Um, you know, how like, about put all my apples, fruit, eggs in basket? What did Philip <laughs> say? <laughs> Philip doesn't know apples. what he's talking about. Apples. He's like, I just want to stick my fruit in the basket, and then. Um, Chase, this is why I love Chase, is his facial expressions. He's looking at him like, are you serious? And then he just pauses and he's like, okay. <laughs> is it A? His is timing it is great. Yeah. He has like that great comedic timing. I understand why you like him. I just don't 
Do you I don't agree? appreciate someone who purposefully goes out to hurt somebody else. Well, Philip does that too. Yeah, they all do. Well, yes, that. in a different way. Taylor does but it. But yeah. No. Uh, yeah, Levi does it. I just think we're going to see a different side of Chase because we right. all kind of pin Chase as like, oh, he's the most level headed one. Yeah. Right. He right. yeah. knows what to say. And now he's kind of. I don't know. I was just looking at him in the gym scene. Yeah, yes. now he's and stirring the pot a little. Even at the end when they were kissing, it was almost like shady. You wanted, yeah, it was really shady. You wanted it. He orchestrated the whole thing. Well, I feel like, I, feel like it, it, I think he, it, when they Am were. Am I playing, gonna like the under? Is this me liking Austin again? Yes. Like me loving Chase? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be that one person. Like Chase, I love him so far. I, I oh think, my god. Because I think also when they were playing poker too, there was that he was give, giving those two looks. He's like, oh, yeah. yeah. Not only am I going to take your dignity and your poker chips, I think he meant to say I'm going to take your man, too. But they, and he's going to make him cry. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. I, you know, he's... he's. I really like... He goes for what he wants, yeah. you know? Oh, he is under Levi's And I don't now. like Taylor. I don't like Taylor at all, well, so no that's why... Right, yeah. Well, I don't like her. I, I, um, so they prepare for the <coughs> inchware party, and uh, this is the first time I've seen a location that I'm like, oh, that looks like substantially a-list like you got a big house with a pool and everything but i'm sure nobody Why there just owned put it the thing in the pool I, I thought that was really tacky it looked like it was taped to the bottom well it was bricked to the bottom well the scene opened up with levi swimming out of the pool he probably did tape it to the floor <laughs> himself sad yeah oh my gosh we'll get to, we'll get to the <laughs> sadness of of the actual party besides the, I, I i felt the location was good the theme um, not so great but then they go on to say that they're going to be models in gorilla suits let me ask let me ask you. I particularly do not find men in gorilla suits, nor do I find men stripping out of gorilla suits particularly attractive. Mm. A anyone with me? Anyone well, with me? I'm with you. I, don't <laughs> I totally agree, but I think my problem with that whole situation it wasn't. It was never a dress. It was not like a theme party. It wasn't like it was. You know, they were handing out bananas to begin with, and you kind of knew because when they came it's out, it's not like a jungle theme right, party exactly. or anything it was, it's just kind of, it was random yeah you know it wasn't i don't know and gorillas have, have nothing to do with inchware exactly. and then you have those two botox twins talking <laughs> to them and they're like yes it's like evolution i'm like what does that have to do with this right. underwear and the models were so uncomfortable they're like so we do this then we come out and do we do we, do we and what do we do our, afterwards our i was suits? also i was also thinking at that point i was like to be a model in Dallas and be uh, like be hired for this thing, and you're like, God, I need the money, and you're like wearing a, <laughs> you're wearing this too. ape suit while you're like, I guess I have to strip out of an ape suit now. I was like, Oh my, I feel so bad. Like, what a terrible job. Oh, anything for a paycheck. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Sure they would do the same thing in LA. Um, I'm sure they would. And have. I'm oh. sure they have as well. <laughs> Did anyone feel like the VIP list was so VIP that there were like five people at the party? <laughs> Again, where were the 200 people? I exactly. know, what is this? Oh, it's wait, there like, were supposed to be 200 people there? There's always, uh, I don't know. Well, there's they always have an incredibly high guest list. It was supposed to be VIP, let's make a list. Yeah. And he was like, oh, well, my friends will be there. Well, this and made the, Chase's party look epic. Yeah, and I yeah saw, and it I, did. I, yeah, it I, did make Chase's party look epic. Yeah. I can't. And there were like three buyers at the table. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure they weren't all that impressed with the gorillas. No. No, it, exactly. Um... Oh my gosh! Can Is we talk about I, my favorite person at the party, who I don't think gets enough camera time? We're not to the party yet. Oh, sorry. Even oh, though we I'm are so to the party. Um, Where are we, Jackie? We're at. There's we're no such thing. Intro. There's no such oh. thing as underwear being gay. <laughs> <laughs> Which I agree that? with. Oh, wait. Chase. Who said that? Chase said that. Chase I don't know. I don't agree with that. Philip. I don't, don't know. I've got some underwear that's pretty gay. Uh, I mean, and again, I I see where you're coming from because it's like you don't want to stereotype underwear, but it's like I. For example, I was out in uh, West Hollywood last night, and you have the guys, like, you have, there was a guy, like, a leather daddy guy in, like, um, <laughs> I don't like that term. In, a, in like, leather daddy. in a leather thong with, like, a bull pin on the front where his cock was. And so, oh my and, God. yeah, so I was Hello. like, Whoa. to me, that underwear's pretty gay. I'm still stuck on cock. Wait, <laughs> what? Wait what came after you that? You went there. <laughs> I'm sorry. There was, like, a ring, like a bullhorn ring. A bull? Okay. What was, what like else was On the underwear the... or on On the underwear. Wiener. Okay. Okay. On, okay. on okay. the underwear. So it wasn't Prince Albert kind of no. thing. No. Oh. It was just like to imply Prince That's Albert. That's pretty gay. 
Yeah, so, that's thanks, gay Jesse. underwear. But there are straight people that are into leather as there well. There are, there are. Who it's would probably true. wear the same thing. It's and true. And there are straight so, men that are into wearing women's underwear. Yeah, that so, is also true. There are a lot of true. fetishes that... Yes. Once again, you can't classify exactly. any one thing. Um, if there's a straight man wearing women's underwear, I will classify that hashtag. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you no. want to be friends? No, some, it happens some though. Some women's it does underwear happen. are very soft and very like. It happens sleek, though. There sleek, was um. Silky. Okay, yeah. Kenny. Not that I'm wearing my thong on. You want to see? I only remember that episode of Friends where Joey was wearing Phoebe's underwear. Or Rachel's. There's this and he said it was soft. Well, there's this artist. Um, I think his name is Bob Flanagan, <laughs> but I can't. Situation. I can't. <laughs> I can't remember. There's this artist, and I think his name is Bob Flanagan, but he does uh, like. Well, he's dead now. But he did uh, like sadomasoch. He was like a sadomasochist, and he was straight. But he would always he would always be the one receiving actions. So he would wear like women's underwear and like like do things that made him humiliated. Huh. So I mean, it's just not. <laughs> Something we associate, okay. I guess, with most straight people, but it it exists. Um, it happens. Am I gonna help? The thing <laughs> is, is, I think <laughs> <laughs> Philip said it, and he said my therapist said that underwear can't be gay. And I think that the point is, is that you can't designate a yes. sexuality to yes. an inanimate right. object. That's true. Yes. And that's my thing. That fire hydrant is pretty gay, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can. I don't know. I've got oh, some pieces no, that are that have glitter on them and you know, pieces, some Your personal underwear. pieces. Yeah, some, well, some I think pieces. in this day and age, we've used the w we've taken the term gay and we Made apply it. it to so many different things, right. and it's just meaning well, that's a little more feminine than right. Mm -hmm. it's a little sugar well, maybe in that we thing. shouldn't be doing that. Well, maybe we shouldn't. we shouldn't be condoning that here at After Buzz TV, Jesse. I'm not. I'm just saying that's. He's what just it making is. a comment. <laughs> That's so what, what do you is. think? <laughs> so now that we've we we understand David, the problem, are you wearing gay underwear? <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> I'm going probably. Would you like to check? Hey, free ball. <laughs> Jeez, is that considered? Or are gay? you doing a Philip? No. Oh. <laughs> no, I oh, like no. to wear underwear. That's a good one. I like that. You doing pulling a Philip? Yeah. Um, are you pulling a Phil? Did anybody feel that Ashley wasn't that angry until the actual like? I didn't scene. even think she was that angry to begin with. Even yeah. during her fight, I was like, I didn't really it's, think she it's was so that upset. It's so weird. It's yeah, it's so weird because she has this conversation with Philip, and Philip's like, Oh my gosh, this is what's happening, and she's like, I'm so mad. You see that? That's I, like I think a tear. She was processing. That's a tear. Right. She I think was she was processing. You know, she was like, I think she was under the impression that he was using her stuff, and then she was like, Wait, wait what? Really? Yeah. So I think at when when he first when she, he first told her, I think she was processing it. Um, and I think it built it. I thought she was upset. Like she, I thought she was upset at the party, but I just felt that it was a weird because I guess I'm the type of person who if somebody told me that automatically, I'd be like, oh, my gosh, you know, and then like freak out. But she like was so blank. She was like blank slate. And as she was listening, I to think I can it. honestly say that she was processing. Yeah. Uh, I also kind of feel like she maybe Maybe everyone doesn't take what Philip says to heart right, right away. Right. She was She's filtering. Like, yeah. Maybe he just mm. didn't like Philip as a model and used my photography right. as right. an excuse. Right. Because I don't think she really got mad. I, like, she walked up to Levi and wanted him to explain himself. Right. So I think she wanted a sense of, like, y hear it from the horse's mouth. Like, right. You well, tell me what it is. I, yeah, I think, and it wasn't like she would. He, she wanted him to explain. She wanted him to say, you know, bring it up because yeah, it was never right. brought to her attention yeah. at all from him. Well, I think so. that she would have had better results had she gone to him before him. Not, well, not necessarily before and in a better manner. Like she just walked up to him and was like, "So what's with my pictures? Did you have a problem with the, what I took?" Yeah, <laughs> he was cut off. Right I, loved, it. I loved it. I well, lo she gave him a chance to explain. He's exactly. Like, mm, no. She, she said no, he, he was like. She basically said, is there something you want to tell me about the pictures that I took? Right. Well, you you would think that in a professional situation, if you had hired somebody to to do a service. Hire. Hire. Right, because he didn't pay. Use. Exactly. Right. Use. <laughs> if you use somebody for a professional service and you were not going to, you know, use, the, use yeah. their services, you would think that you would have like a sit down meeting or whatever. Right. But this yeah. is like. Well, then at the same time, he didn't pay her. So he wasn't under any obligation to no, use but still, the First of all, that's your friend. Yeah. You don't right. do Supposedly. that to your friend. Supposedly. <laughs> Second of all, that's bad. What do you say? Professionalism? Professionality. 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 And, he was complaining, and he was complaining that she was being unprofessional. Well, I find that 
Yeah. His actions yes, unprofessional. Right. He, were, he was very... And he was drunk. He's always drunk. I mm. love that. Everyone's always drunk I'm on this show. That's the best one. He shouldn't have been drunk at his own party. Right. Yeah. Again, and how shady of uh, Mr. Chase when Ashley went up to Chase and was like, okay. so Phil They're said They're supposed to be said, best friends, right. yeah. And he lied to her yeah. and said, no, it wasn't about your pictures. And he was sticking up for Levi he because he wanted the dicky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the thing to me is like even... <laughs> he won that. Yeah, everybody... Everybody starts to turn on Ashley the minute they want to do Levi, and I yep. just don't get the whole appeal of Levi at all. No. Um, you didn't see that email a, I sent? He's very square-shaped. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kenny sent... Do we a, have the picture? Can we put it <laughs> Can we? We're not allowed to. No, it's a full cock no. By the way, I, I actually okay. like this you little the screensaver it. as yeah. opposed to watching the actual episode I like the screensaver. You could blur it out. stuff. Yeah, no. back to Levi. I'm not that I'm impressed not with... We know yeah, his body doesn't body. look weird now, though, because well, we were all well, contemplating picture, that his well, body looked weird. No, 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 no. The picture, that's an old picture, though, because you can oh. tell his hair was shaved he a little bit. He looks a lot younger. younger. He looks like yeah. he's 18. Yeah, yeah. And he looks like a twink. Like a, like I don't like that word either. That's twink? A, yeah. Reminds me of Twinkie. Well, that's exactly I what know. it is. It's just weird. Well, that's where the term comes from. Twink. Stuff with cream filling. All right. Oh, God, Jesse. Ding, ding, ding. One for Jesse. I like Score Ashley's one. Ashley's version of what's professional. She's like, it was professional. We stuffed you in everything. <laughs> we were in water. <laughs> we were in water and we stuffed you. Come on. Now, professional. I, okay, so I don't agree with how she handled it. I think I think she should have asked be- or she would she should have had the talk before or afterwards. Right. However, I don't I do not let Levi off the hook. Whatsoever, I think he should have been the one to approach her about the right whole situation. Right away, too. Right. Not yeah, tell not everyone in town and exactly. then right. play dumb. Well, first right. of all, you tell Philip, everyone else is going to know. Right. Yeah. So even if he just told Philip, everyone else is going to know. But I'm sure that's his know. plan. I'm sure that was his plan. For it to it's down. much easier to just tell Philip and not <laughs> deal with it. Right. <laughs> I um, can't tell oops, what side Philip's on because... When he's not. talking to Levi, he's like, "So, are we gonna take other pictures? Are we gonna use me?" And then he's with Ashley, and he's on her side. He did make, yeah, he did make that comment. He's like, "Oh, so yeah. next time we're gonna get a better photographer." Yeah, That's what he's he said. like, mm-hmm. he's like almost pulling a Ryan. Like, I, I wanted. Oh yeah. You know, but I like Ryan better. Um, yeah, now Ryan has a little bit of integrity, I think. It's true. Well, maybe not integrity. Maybe something else. <laughs> a little bit more class. Class. Yes, there you go. More class. Um, just a hair. Just so a we hair. have. And he does hair, so that makes it better. <laughs> We have um, some relationship drama and a. I don't understand how it's not a like love triangle. James. Oh, we're figuring James into this. I guess. Well, he, he, he well put first of all, into I mean, yeah, yeah he, he yeah. does insert <laughs> yeah, himself he, into he this. Walks it's up, true. First of all. What was that? He made. Oh my God! What was the comment about the? We had like a tree or he something. Said we had a seed and we planted it and it was a tree and then and we it, burned it. Yeah. Yes. And then it grew and then it we burned it. It was a beautiful it. tree. <laughs> yes, it was, it was a, beautiful a beautiful tree from tree. our one night stand. Um, they loved it. Well, he basically, <laughs> what, what, as he's like petting the horse's butt. No, he walked like up this. and he was like in his confessional right before he walked up. He's like, you know what? I'm not even going to talk about the whole our relationship, blah blah blah. And the first thing he asked, right? Well, Philip said this and this and this that you're dating, blah blah blah. I'm like, really? Yeah. And then I was uncomfortable with that whole little, you know, it was just. But like Levi already said it was weird that yeah he he already said that it's it, it's weird for him to show up there anyway. Right. So and James said he went to go let Levi know that he had his back that he was on his team. Why? <laughs> As a friend. As a friend. And, and then, then Levi the- said, "We're not friends. I don't know why he's here." Right. right. Oh my gosh, that is just like. <sighs> Dear producers. So painfully awkward. Um, Stop making shit up. <laughs> <laughs> That's so all right. I love. Right? I love how. Live their lives. So, exactly. Um. Taylor and Levi. I love how Chase is like the sex must be awesome because that boy is crazy. And he I I feel like he is so crazy. He's like trying to I mean, he's they Ooh, just Taylor. started seeing each other and he's already trying to like pin down the relationship. And Some James did the like same them. thing. He did the same thing last episode when he went on that date. Oh my god, yes. Wait, James? Or are we talking about James yeah, or Taylor? Bo- well, both, both kind of. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Taylor Taylor's thing was um you know, he wants to date monogamously, which I, I can I can agree with that to a certain extent. Because, you know, when I date, I only date one person at a time. Right. Right. But some people aren't like that. I mean, right. dating, I mean, it's just, it's, I would feel bad if I dated someone, but then someone else caught my attention. Right. But not, not necessarily involving sex into the whole equation. But I, I understand what Taylor's saying. I don't like, I don't appreciate. 
okay, there are things about his personality that I don't like, mm -hmm. but I kind of agree with him to an, a certain extent on the whole dating issue. Right. However, with but that said... But I just said, feel... It, here's my thing, though. I just feel it's weird knowing that he was the one who initially wanted him to move in and all this stuff and then cheats on him. So it's like he doesn't... Wait, he doesn't, what? Yes. It, you missed that episode. I did. Taylor yeah. cheated on... Taylor cheated Levi? on Levi. Oh, okay. I must have missed that one, too. But he seen. said that he didn't think Levi was that interested. That's why he kind of... I don't know. It's yeah. They both well, had different reasons for why they thought it ended. Well, that makes sense now. Okay. Yeah. Because now he's trying to right or wrong. Right. And he doesn't want... Maybe he doesn't want Levi to do the same thing to him. But see, when these people... This this is... I feel the reunion show is going to be a hot mess. <laughs> because they're going to look back at these clips and freak out. Because... Um, Oh, especially when I can Taylor only sees what's Levi going on and Chase right now. kissing. Oh my God. And uh, yeah, and then Taylor, well, you have Taylor talking about um, in the last episode. Taylor's talking about, oh, I can play this boy and all this, and then he and, manipulates. He's yeah, manipulate. he okay. manipulates, and then Levi um, is like, oh, I just made up this whole monogamously dating thing, and then you see him the next scene turn around after he makes out with Chase, and he's like. He's like, oh, we're not really together. Yeah, yeah, we're, we haven't had that conversation yeah. yet. No. And they did a couple yeah. months ago. Well, no, Le he said, well, he's not here. <laughs> right. Oh, my gosh. Don't that's going to be... Oh for a cocktail? Well, we've already... We're going to see... I, I'm assuming next episode we're going to see that it's, it's going to blow out. up anyway because yeah. Ashley sees them making out, which mm -hmm. I think is hilarious. Right. 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 And wait, but does it... Do you guys think that Ashley... I don't know about Ashley because I know Ashley would want to put Levi's stuff out there because she's upset with Levi, right. but Chase is her best friend. I thought now Taylor he was is. her best friend. Well, yeah, now, now that she's mad at Taylor, though. Right. I know. Chase is her best friend. So I don't know how she's going to play it, so she'll probably run and tell Philip, and then Philip will go spill it. Well, basically, Levi has had his hand or something in all of them except for Ashley, so I mean... And I just I just don't get his appeal. He's like such a stereotype to me. He's, so he's like, Stereotypes watching him the... makes me think of like a gay version of George Bush. Mm. I you know what? Taylor looked like George Bush, kind of. <laughs> for no reason. I just, he has that George Bush face. Taylor to worked me. for George Bush. Wait, 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 wait. Why does Levi remind you of a George Bush? He reminds me of like young George Bush where he's just like I rich. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, he's like rich yeah. and stupid and Republican. like young George Bush was supposed to have all this like like charm and, charm I've and got charisma everything. and I've got everything but I don't have to like go to school for it or anything and things just like fall in my lap. Junior, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I just look at him No, and not say, senior. Not senior. <laughs> but that's how I see him as, like a young George Bush. And I'm like, this is such, and to me George Even Bush George is, Bush a, is like is this gross. stereotype archetype of Texas and that's all that I see in Levi, like this big stereotype. Do you uh, see George Bush in Taylor's face? A, just a dumb cowboy. Oh, if I, I do put, too. If I put the hat on, I can get whatever. But see, I that's want. how I feel George and Bush I'm a man. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He always, you know, he, you would always see him on his <laughs> ranch with his like belts and shit. With his belts. <laughs> <and> he kind of <laughs> acts like Will <laughs> Will Ferrell's parody of George Bush. He does. There it is. He does. Remember that clip where Will Ferrell's standing in front of the horse and he's like, what is that, a puma? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's truth in, in every stereotype, right? Yeah. And so it, they have to exist in some world. Yeah, it's true. And, you know, he is it's a stereotypically well, he's, Texan he's Like man. the all-American yeah. guy on the show, and like he's supposed to be the hunk. And right. Mm -hmm. He's actually typecast, if you ask me. Yes. So. He would be like the Riken. Right, exactly. Yeah. Riken's too dumb. Reckon's much prettier than him. They're both equally as stupid, then. Yes. <laughs> they have both had their penises on the internet. Oh, geez. I would love for them to mix these two shows. I actually was thinking yes! the same thing. Yes, put, see what happens when they meet? Put Levi and Austin together. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it would be a hot mess drama relationship, and right. I would enjoy it. Yes. Actually, you know what? I, just think about that. I don't think they would mesh at no. all. No, at they'd all fight. Yeah. It would be great. It would be because, great reality because, TV. But you know what? Philip and I'm sure Jane, I, all of them would like get like, you know, the shit from like the Ryan and and if Mike would, I doubt Mike would ever do that. But no. they need to do an A-list Dallas New York challenge. Yeah, <laughs> like they do for real, real world. world. Well, if they do enough seasons of these, I'm pretty sure they're gonna start having reunions. Like they do it for The Bachelor. I'm sure they do it for The Real Worlds and The Housewives. They just need to get oh, a that's couple right. more. Where they have them together? Yeah. Well, they'll just do like behind like the scenes pad. reunions. I'm sure. Oh, that was Pat's the <gasps> best show in pad. the world. They could have uh, A-list pad. Where they all live together. And it could be in Italy. 
and they could oh be in God. Italy. Why yeah. not? Or an A-list party and have all the A-list just come yes. together. Yes. Why and not? There'd be so much drama within it. It'd be a weekend trip. Yes. They all go to Palm Ashley Springs. and the Oscar would be best town. friends. <laughs> oh my oh, God. They would hate each other. I think Philip would get, get along with Nyasha, though. Philip would get along with Nyasha. I feel yes. like he would just cater to her and she would yes. love Ashley and Ryan would get along. Yes. Yep. Yes. We should do that. Is that is great? I want to do. Yeah. It. Someone call the producers. I know, right? That would be a good idea <laughs> for a show, actually. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then, uh, I can't wait for a list. Uh, LA. Uh, is that yeah. is that actually uh, in the works now? No, apparently it was already filmed. Oh, really? Nice. Do we know who the cast members are? Or? Not at all. Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Kenny knows who they are. <laughs> Does that? Uh, what did you guys think of Taylor crying at the poker game? Baby. I was just I I was just like oh what a baby. I understand why he was crying because of the way Levi was treating him and he thought they had had that conversation about how they're like yeah. monogamous uh, with each other now and that right. Right. not at a poker step, table. Wait a minute, but like, Kenny. It's completely Have some inappropriate. Pride and then cry after. What? You just said you understand as much as you don't like ta- uh, Taylor. No. You understand where it comes from. I feel like you would understand. Uh, I don't. I, I don't. I con- just watching. Uh, he's in a in a situation where he's put in a corner. He clearly has strong feelings for this guy. Just wanted him to be in a relationship, and then someone you think is your best friend, or someone you think is a friend of yours, who Chase? Chase is no. He's, no, he doesn't they, like already, Chase. Yeah, they've already established. That they they've already like established. Each other. They've they established hug each it. other in the beginning, and Chase's face says it all. He goes, Ugh. yeah. He said Chase is like this the whole time. Right, but since since the party, they right. were before that. They were you know very casual with each other. Uh, and so just think about being in this room and then like he he's so immature in the fact even he said i just see our relationship diminishing in front of me and it's like okay i think that's just a little too dramatic for me but i yeah. think but i really think that that was a hundred percent real coming out of him mm-hmm. i really feel like he felt those emotions yeah. he should he should have kept those i'm not saying it's not real though. but i no, just no. think that if you're if you're an if you want to behave like an adult in that situation and you want to he talks all this big talk when he's right. alone with the camera. Right. And it's like, if you want to back that up, you know, stand uh-huh. up and don't let this guy, you know, beat you. Beat you. And I do, beat okay, you. so I do agree with the whole, their relationship. But for me, at, at that moment, I don't think that it was worth, first of all, it's not worth crying over. No, no. You know what I mean? Right. And I think that, I mean, he should know when he's young, too. So, I mean, that has a lot to, well, not necessarily a lot to do with it, but... He he's he has he already is very aware of Levi when he's drunk and when he you know and he's asking why he's, I mean I don't know it's just it was just I, for me I just, I think he overreacted I, I think. think he's old enough to know that if you don't like somebody don't put yourself in a situation, situation. Mm-hmm. where it's going to be just Austin. the four of you right like right. you got invited by Chase to come over to his house to play poker right why, why go? Yeah. Don't even bother going. Just be like, you know what? told him to go. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> Either that or he probably he probably wanted he probably did not want Lev- or Levi to be to alone. To leave Levi alone. Yeah. With uh Well, that's just very <laughs> telling of your what your relationship poker. is. Right, you know? exactly. If yeah. you can't trust him to go on his own, then you shouldn't be in that relationship. Right. 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 So, this bleeds Stupid. into the party, which um was an amazing fight scene. Even though, again, this party, you're right, makes uh, Jesse's right, makes Chase's party look so successful. It looked like a pool party in the valley. Nothing it against the valley. Uh, it I just, it <laughs> kind of reminded me of that. It did. Sorry. It totally did. Oh my gosh. Are yeah, you going because to it's the like, valley, really? It's like you Is have this, Monica? you have this company, <laughs> but you don't have any advertisements for the company at the party except for the one that's like at the bottom of the pool. duct taped to the bottom right. of the pool. It's so random. And then. Okay, I understand that there is a, you know, there's a reference between inches and bananas. There's a loose connection there, but you didn't make that connection. I didn't even get that connection. I didn't get that either until you just either. said it. it. Because a banana is like a phallus. I get, I get it now that yeah. you say it, but I didn't. But I it's so did loose. not dawn on right. me. Yeah, so, it's yeah. such a and loose even connection. Even evolution, growth, and growing. Yeah. So I but get that, but well, they should have been. So I guess he is. Well, they should have decorated it like a jungle. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Like exactly. trees and like exactly. bushes. And, and people should have known that it was going to be yeah. like. That was the theme. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was way too loose of the connection. A... You could have had that like little like Encino man, like where you have the guy of like the picture of the gorilla evolving into yeah, the man the, or yeah. something. Yeah. Right. So it made sense because right. the gorillas come out and they're and so I, awkward. And they're so awkward and everybody's like, What's going on? And, <laughs> and 
And Chase goes, everybody Chase goes, say, everybody say it's, okay. it's okay. These are not real funny. gorillas. But that was after <laughs> Ashley had blew up at him, the first, the first of many. I thought that was hilarious. I love that she They're just... They're standing there, and then the gorillas come I out. I love that like, her version of getting angry is just keeps throwing drinks and smashing them and throwing drinks oh, and that. smashing oh, what them. What I said was so rude, though. It was rude. I, it was and then rude. he did it twice. I don't, like, I don't see how how it's rude. <laughs> it's I don't either. It's only rude if, if she's trying to have a serious conversation and he's insulting her. In any other situation, it would okay. be funny, right. but You're he right. was just being drunk and disrespectful. Yeah, and the other thing is, too, they're not really... Okay. I don't think those two particular people are really good friends. Like, if it was my really good friend and they're like, hee hee, you're nipping out, I'd be like, hee hee, you know, but like, <laughs> yeah. Random. <laughs> Random people that that are not really good friends with me, and I'm already pissed off at, and they're drunk. Yeah, you'd just be like, well, really I think he funny. was more so than she was. Yeah, but I do agree that I, you know, she, she went to talk to him, and he was like, oh, I can't even be mad at you right He's now. Like, blah Shut blah up. blah. Your nipples. Yeah, are but, but that's me. also because he was he was <laughs> completely. Uh, I mean, he was being friendly, but he was avoiding the whole issue. confrontation, right. the whole issue. And then handing out bananas as a party favor. I was just like... Do you guys see a... a such great swag. Whenever oh, there's my a God. party. But see, if you... Like, let's say you were a, one, a future investor or a future buyer or something like this, and somebody hands you a friggin', like... 50 cent banana as you leave. Right. Well, he should have been handing out underwear. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. In a bag or a, with a banana. Yeah. Sure. Shape of a banana. Or in the a, shape of a or banana. Or a fake or like, souvenir of a banana. But did yeah. you guys also catch the guy who... um? The Asian guy that was uh, helping him That's throw the party. What right. Was, what was his title? That guy was a model. He was the talent scout. Manager. Or, model yeah. manager. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the talent yeah. scout. Did yeah. you see how mortified he was yes. at the end of it, though? No, like, I didn't even see that. Yes, when, they were, when he was thanking them in the back. Yeah. He was like, yeah. He was like, <laughs> like what the hell did I get these guys involved? Yeah, yeah. It's just so, it's just, yeah, it's the worst swag ever. It just is. It is. I think it's it just like, goes back to their age and how young and immature they are. How or old Levi. is Levi? Or, they like, have 25. so much money 25. and they're just... Yeah, but they must have does. been to at least but one or two good parties in their I know, life I was going to say. Where they got a good gift as they left. Right. right. I, yeah, I just don't, because Levi doesn't strike me as the business, oh, the party planning type. Right, you know so did I mean? he not right. have a party planner who was like, hey... He did! Well, then, why didn't the party planner be like, hey, you I'll, need to give something I'll, out? <laughs> we saw the party planner at the beginning when they were looking for the house. They found oh, the house, right. and the that was it. The two guys with the feathery hair. The, well, no, the guy the with the stylists. suits. The guy with the, the suit. Guy with the suit. Wait, yeah. who were the guys with the feathery hair? Stylists. Yeah. Wait, the eight stylists? It was the guy, yes. the oh, guy with the suit with the red cheeks that looked like Chuck E. Cheese. Yes. yes. Oh, he geez. was the planner, party planner. And they were sitting there talking. He was sitting there. He was like, oh, yeah, because he was telling them about the monkeys. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Never saw him after again. So I don't know. Does anybody else here feel like they could just be a party planner for A-list Dallas parties? Yeah. Now yeah. I can. I'm um, going to Dallas. We could just so do it better. I have a business. <laughs> and, and all and you have to do is... And be a photographer, too. And be a photographer at the same time. We could be a photographer at the same time. And start my own business. Oh, yeah. And talk like a maze. A maze. Hello. Um, and I'm going to be the face of Inchware. <laughs> be A-list Watch after out. Buzz. <laughs> A-list after Buzz. So should we cut to a commercial before doing gossip? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> We've talked for a long time. <laughs> I wanted to talk Take about us to that. a commercial, Jesse. The biggest new media platform on the web just got bigger. More bandwidth, smoother streaming, lightning, fast download. And get technical with me. After Buzz TV is making the jump to hyperspace. Join the fun at your number one source for after show entertainment. Look at the size of that thing. After Buzz TV. It was so convenient. It was after so all. bad. <laughs> the biggest new media platform on the web just got bigger. Whatever. The commercial break is too short. I know. Okay. Well, it was also the one about getting bigger and talking about sizes, and so it went with with the theme. With the theme well, of the show. Well, oh, wonderful. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Look at After Buzz. Um, Do it. So. After Buzz TV Ooh. News.
episode. I don't know why. I won. Mm-hmm. But I'm really excited for next now, week. You're after Buzz TV predictions. I think Ashley and Levi are going to make up, but I think there's going to be a problem. I don't think not going to be in the next they're episode if they do. No, no, no. Not in the next episode. But I think there is definitely going to be a problem when she figures out that, you know. When she what, walks what, in on them making out. When she out. walks in on right. them out. I think she's definitely going to stop talking to Taylor. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Not Taylor. Start talking Chase. to Taylor again. Stop You're talking to Chase. Chase. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, because now she knows that he's messing with Chase. He's supposedly in a relationship with Taylor. And he's had his relationship with James. There's just it's a big old mess. Oh. Um, I think um, f- my prediction is that uh, the dad, Philip's dad, is going to say something that's going to really hurt mm-hmm. uh, Philip's feelings. Yeah. To like the point, what? I don't know. T- to the point, it's who thought Philip was going to be the special topics person. It's just it's so strange, but he seems to keep having the special topics. Yeah, he does. Uh, you know, I'm not surprised. Uh-huh. You guys think it's going to be? Some, I think his dad's going to make him feel. I think he's going. I think bl- it's going to be something really positive. I think it's going to be I negative. So no, I think it'll be positive. They haven't talked in a while, right? Yeah. They made, they made it seem like they're seeing each other for the first time in yeah, a while. Yeah, and like like yeah. since birth. And he was like, look <laughs> look at me, look at me in the eyes. Yeah, exactly. But it, but it had a positive vibe. Like I thought. It, look, it looked like he was about to say to him, like, I love you no matter what, who you I are. I hope that's okay. the case. I hope that that's the case. Nice. I hope not. I'm not surprised <laughs> I'm though, that, I'm that, that, like that Philip is like the special topic person. I think he's going to be... Unnecessary roughness. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Completely manufactured personality. Everything about him. Who, Philip? Yes. Uh, yeah. But what is that? Like, I don't blame that on him. You though. know what I mean? Like he's like, oh, I'm on a reality show now. This is my opportunity to reach out to my father and get him to come in so that I can get more screen time. This is why he's like playing the the gossip queen. But well, I don't feel that makes him the, like, he, he gets more Mike Ruiz type scenes that I didn't think he would get, like yeah. seeing his therapist. And mm-hmm. wasn't he the one? Minus in the, the work scenes. Wasn't he the one initially in that article who said the main thing about, to the AIDS? Yes. The, yeah. 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 He was the one. Yeah. Uh, he's the one who Which is why it surprises blah. me. Right. right. And also, I've, I've, we work with a lot of reality stars here at After Buzz, and <laughs> I'm always the first one to say that I feel like they're setting it up where the, uh, you know, to get more airtime. But in reality, when you do these auditions, like he had to have told the producers, like I haven't spoke to my father. father right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You and definitely tell them. The producers actually put the option out there. Uh, this happened on the Real World Las Vegas last season, where one of the cast members hadn't seen uh, her mother or father. I can't remember right now. Or her father, because uh, the mother was hiding it from him. And the Producers actually set out, hired a detective oh, uh, to go that. out and find the father, uh, the sister, because the father had passed away, oh. um, and set it up and gave it to her as an option if she wanted to take it. So I'm wondering. Yeah, but who's going to say no? Exactly. Right. Who's going to be like, right. no, that's okay. No, right. But <laughs> right. I, I, I don't do? think he's setting it up for more airtime for himself. I do think that that is something. They, I think the producers found an opportunity, and yeah, it's an opportunity for him to get more airtime. Exa- that's what yeah. I'm saying. The producers always that pick yeah. who, like, uh, whose story they feel is the strongest. So, and I wouldn't be surprised if the same thing happens with uh, James. Yeah, we right. get a little deeper into why he's so Jason and Davis. Why he has so right. much money? Yeah. I know. I want right. to know where he comes Tr- from. Well, like he's, his a, he's a trust is. fund baby. But no, yeah. I know that, but I want to know who his family is. Mm, yeah, that's all the time we have, right? Bye. It's a Bye. shame. <laughs> Bye. Have a good night. You guys got to really work on your outros. <laughs> that, this is that is all the time we have for A-List Dallas. <laughs> and now we are closing out. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Press herein are those of the host only. Do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.